Now, Sean Welby has the weather next. Matt's back in an hour with Five News tonight. More reaction to the news that Britain will soon have a new woman prime minister. That's at 6.30. For now, though, thanks for watching tonight. Goodbye for now. Hi there, I'm Sean Welby. Well, I hope you've had a good day today. It's turning warmer over the next few days, but we will see some rain, particularly towards the north. And tonight, well, many areas will become dry for a while. A lot of the showers start to fade in Scotland, but then another batch will move in overnight. And in fact, there'll be widespread rain first thing tomorrow morning. Some heavy pulses. It will also be very warm and very muggy, with temperatures generally in the towns and cities in the mid to high teens. So it's a warm start. It's a wet start as well. But very quickly, that rain will clear away into the North Sea. A few scattered showers will be left behind, but we're looking at largely dry conditions, fairly bright weather developing in between the cloud, particularly in the second half of the afternoon. And then we'll start to see the temperatures climbing towards the low 20s, but particularly uh, in the high teens for many. Now, through the evening and overnight into Saturday morning, again, we'll get some scattered showers filtering in on that southwesterly breeze. As we head into the afternoon, low pressure will bring heavier rain, but many eastern parts will be dry. The Pollen Count, sponsored by CheckerTrade.com. CheckerTrade, CheckerTrade.com. Well, with all this warm and muggy weather, well, the pollen levels have been high or very high all week. And I'm afraid to say the same goes for tomorrow. For much of England and Wales, we're looking at very high levels of pollen. Uh, for Northern Ireland as well, it's only really Northern Scotland seeing moderate to low levels. The Pollen Count, sponsored by CheckerTrade.com. CheckerTrade, CheckerTrade.com.